hello guys kindly check this application out when we say submit it says please enter a valid url okay let's enter a valid url let's say this you can see it validates the url for us now let's make it complete and let me finally submit it says what the url is what facebook.com so that is that guys let's develop this using react hook form if you want to type along with me kindly install the following one npm install tailwind css forms and two npm install react hook form now a quick one with the tailwind css forms let's go to google and paste it there good let's get the npm good now we've done the npm already so next is the copy the require okay we copy this then you go to your tailwind.config file then you paste it there you can see this is mine so that is that i also have a video to install react with tailwind you can check it out i'll leave that in the description below so that is that guys with all said and done let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating two folders in our src folder call the first one assets and call the second one components but now let's take the first one assets now we have no spinners or images in this application so we leave it blank move to the second one components create a file and call it url app dot js inside that refce instead of ordinary div let's make it react dot fragment react dot fragment good so inside that we can have a section then say uh, inside the section let's have a div then inside this let's say hello let's link that to the app.js to view on the screen so let's call u r l a p p let's import that we say import you get from where from components then okay let's check our screen to see if we got hello on the screen great we got hello on the screen means we're ready to go so let's reposition everything since it's mobile first good we're ready now now let's take the div off and create a form so we say form so inside the form what do we need let's now have a div for the background so we give it a class name and say bg white then let's give it width auto height 96 let's give it um, mt 20 and mx let's give it 5 what else let's make it rounded lg good okay, that is that for the background let's work on the header so we can see header section so in the header section what do we need let's give it a div inside the div let's give it a p tag okay, inside the p tag let's say validate url input okay, let's give that a class name class name equals uppercase uh, font bold thirst for excel what else text center let's give that a height so we move to the div give the class name and say height let's give it 28 then let's give flex justify center and items center if that is just let's give it some shadow good so I think we are ready with the header. Next is the body. So let's move down and say body section. Now with our body section, let's create a div. Inside the div, let's create another div. Okay, so inside this div, let's create two divs. Call the first one one and create another div. And call it error. 
so that is that now let's take the one let's put our input there so we say input inside that let's give it uh what's the name i don't know a type come on good the type is not thirst good. type is what url good. so next let's give the class name equals with let's give it a full what else let's give it a height 16 let's give it thirst for excel now what else again let's make it rounded lg okay that's that now let's give it some what's the name some uh mx so we give it a class name equals we say mx let's give it five then let's give it mt 14 good I think that is that for now next let's work on the submit button okay so this is the body you can see the body div okay we're done with the body so next let's go on to the submit btm okay. so let's create a div for that so we say div inside the div let's create an input inside the input let's have our submit type oh sorry no so we say type type equals submit then let's give it a uh, value value equals what submit then next is what class name class name equals let's give it no sorry let's give it class name equals width two fifth then height let's give it 10 sorry 10 then what else let's give it bg pink 500 then first white font bold then rounded lg so that is that let's center it so we go to the d and say class name equals um flex justify center then what items center let's give it mt 12. good so that is that for the setup i guess you're ready for validation so to begin validation let's go to google and type what react react to form good so inside that let's open it then get started npm install we've done that already so let's import it copy the import go to let's expand the code go now go to and import it okay now let's go back then copy the handle events we copy that to go to our code then we say we say handle events let's paste that there next one is going to go at handle submit okay let's go copy it good we copy that and go paste good now it's console.log data let's make it alert data so we say alert into bracket json dot stringify data good so like this okay now next is the unsubmit on the form let's go check it out yeah the unsubmit let's copy that too then go to our code and go to the form and paste it there 
Yeah, so that is that. Now, let's check our screen to see if the form is working. So, let's say submit it should give us an empty data. Good. So, that is that is working. Let's now let's get our register the event. So, we copy that, then go to our code after the class name of the URL input, we paste it there. Okay. So let's do that. Paste it here. Good and change the name to URL. Now it's required as true. Now let's make that dynamic. Okay. So to do that, let's call let's call uh, required is what let's take the let's make give it let's take the require let's take the true off and make it dynamic we say give it a value sorry value value is what true then come on let's get a message message is what url is what required okay like that so that is that with the required good now let's handle the error let's copy the example yeah copy that then go to the code let's paste it there let's take this error off and paste it there the errors dots let's change the name to url And the span, let's make it dynamic. So we say errors dot URL dot message. Okay, so that is that. Let's check it out. So over here, when we say submit, it says what URL is required. Now let's style this by giving it a class name. Then we say test xm then test write 500. Now check this out. URL is required is red. Now let's change the focus also to red. So to do that, let's go to class name and the let's take the listen of the code off from the class name and introduce a dynamic code which is down the escape button so you do that there then inside that uh, introduce the dollar and the bracket okay, so inside that we can have errors dot url and what give it a class name focus red focus ring red and border red so let's check it out so you can see when you run and say submit, it says what URL is required with the border also red. Now what we're going to do next is to validate the URL too. So to do the validation for the URL, let's go back to the uh, register, then continue with the to take the this in the bracket and say come on. Then we say validate. Right. You say part and part and good. So that's that. Let's give it a value. A value. Let's call the regular expression. I had this regular expression from Google, and you can check it out. This is the message. Let's give it. Please enter a valid. URL. Okay, so that is that. Okay, now let's check it out. Let's try uh, Google and say submit this case submit now, but let's try and commit some error. You will realize that we have an error. Okay, so that is that. Now, to help with the writing of the URL, we need to put this as a helper so we create a default input so to do that let's go to 
the form and say good let's call mode first mode let's give it um on touch so that after you leave the input is validate that's the work of the mode next let's say default values okay let's call default values default values let's give it what's the name the name is for url so url let's give it let's paste it there so that is that so this is going to be our default value so let's look at it good so when i run it and i come to my pages what i see so i can continue with the typing okay so that is that guys let's okay you can see it's working so that is that guys finally let's make our app responsive then we say cheers okay so to do that let's go to the after the bg white let's say sm at small screen make the width full then at medium screen make the width for fit then at the same medium screen make the width no make mx auto then at large screen make the width to fit then at same large screen make mx auto so let's check it out so now when we say make it bigger you can see what we have so that is that guys thank you very much for sticking to please don't forget to do good catch you in the next one peace